we're going to be taking a look at utilizing the augmented scale to improvise over major seventh chords. So we're going to use uh, the tune Cherokee as a vehicle for that. Uh, and we're going to be uh, looking at the four major seventh chord. So, so the tune is in B flat major. So we're going to be taking a look at uh, utilizing the augmented scale over E flat major seventh and B flat major seventh. All right. So, so why in the world do we need another scale? Well, the scales have colors, um, and it can help you uh, wrap your mind around certain sounds, uh, certain tonalities. So. Uh, the augmented scale is going to sound a bit exotic. Uh, you can hear it a lot in film scores uh, used for just fantastical sequences. So, um, so it adds a lot of drama where where there wouldn't otherwise be be drama with with a with a regular uh, just straight B flat major scale or even a, a Lydian, B-flat Lydian scale. Um, so we're going to be utilizing the augmented scale uh, today. And so, so basically it's going to be 1, flat 3, 3, 5, flat 6, 7, and back to 1. And um, it kind of helps me to think about it in this way. So you're basically building around one, three, five, so that you you have a half step below one, which is a seven, half step below three, which is the flat three, and then half step above five, which is the flat six, and then back to the half step below one. So you're kind of half stepping it around uh, one, three, five in a particular way. Uh, in a very dramatic kind of way. So we can talk about no names. So it's B flat, D flat, D, F, F sharp or G flat, A, B flat. Okay, um, so, so that's the scale right there for uh, B flat major seven. So when it comes to E flat major seventh, we're going to be playing E flat, G flat, G, B flat, B, D, E flat. So one thing you might do um, to, to kind of get your ears around this sound is to maybe play on a keyboard or if you have a looper pedal or something like that. Play the chord, all right? And then and play the augmented scale over it. So you can really start to hear the drama, all right? And so uh, let me show you the, the specific uh, licks on guitar um, that I played. Um, so when it came to uh, the E flat major seventh, uh, I started on the on the flat third. All right, up to three, five, flat six. All right, so let me go back and just play the riff, um, kind of how I played it. So you're using your first finger and third finger a lot, uh, just because of how it lands on guitar, um, and you can use slides and uh, hammer-ons. You can get some dramatic speed that way. Um, and playing that legato like that makes it uh, a little more lyrical. Okay, so you're gonna start on the flat third, slide up to the third, so it's a fourth fret F sharp to fifth fret G on the D string, all right? Hammer on to the sixth fret B flat on the D string, slide up with your pinky, up to the B, 
the uh, ninth fret B. So going back. So you're doing flat three, three, five, flat six. Okay? So when you get to here, all right, you're gonna use your middle finger, you're gonna grab the seventh fret D. You're gonna slide up uh, to the eighth fret D sharp. And then up here, you're gonna, so so let me let me uh, rewind here a little bit. So you're playing seven one right there, D E flat. All right, all right. Down to the next string, the B string. You're gonna grab the seventh fret F sharp with your first finger. Slide up to the eighth fret G. Hammer on with your pinky uh, to the eleventh fret uh, B flat. Slide with your pinky up to the 12th fret B. So going back. So 7, 8, 11, 12. Flat 3, 3, 5, flat 6. Breaking it down uh, as far as uh, related to the E flat. Alright, and then uh, moving up to the high E string. You're playing the 7 1, so D, E flat. So you're uh, gonna grab, with your first finger, you're gonna grab the 10th fret, D, on the high E string. Slide up with your first finger. And the reason we're sliding on all these, all these are kind of the same, I think. So this is this is the one oddball I think uh, where you just use your middle finger right there uh, on the G string. Uh, so with your first finger, you're gonna slide from the tenth fret D up to the eleventh fret E flat, and then you're gonna hammer on to the fourteenth fret F sharp or G flat, and then. Slide up, slide up to the 15th fret G, and then back to the 14th fret uh, G flat. Yeah, we're definitely going to call it a G flat right there, because right there we go to the uh, Lydian dominant sound there. Okay, so it wouldn't do to, to stay there on the, on the G, because it goes... Go to an E flat, uh, seven sharp eleven, nine sharp eleven, um, right there. All right, so um, so with that E flat major seventh chord, I utilized the augmented scale straight up, starting from uh, the flat third. So flat three, three, five, flat six, seven. One, flat three, three, five, flat six, seven, one, flat third, third, back to the flat third, and this, uh, this flat third, it became, uh, the flat seven of the A flat nine sharp eleven chord, alright? So in that instance, I just used the augmented scale. Uh, to play over that major seventh uh, chord. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different for the B flat major seventh chord. I'm going to uh, play the augmented scale, except I'm going to skip the flat third. Okay, so we're going to avoid a little bit of tension that way uh, to where the only tension uh, really is with the is with the flat six. You know, we can talk about what kind of tension a major seventh adds. Uh, our, our ears now are pretty used to that, so it's not a whole lot of tension. Uh, but it is there, worth noting. But we're not going to have so much tension that we have a, a flat third in there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're not going to have that. We're not going to have that much tension. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start, 
We're gonna start in roughly the same area. We're gonna start uh, uh, just a fret down. So with your first finger, you're going to fret uh, the third fret F. All right. So that's that's the five relative to the B flat. All right. So you're gonna start with the five flat six. So you're gonna slide up, and this is gonna be fingered almost the same. You're gonna use this uh, slide deal. First finger, fourth finger, you know. Pointer pinky. All right. So. Let me talk about frets first and uh, note names, and then we'll talk about scale degrees. So, um, you've got the third fret F, slide up to the fourth fret F sharp, all right? And then you're gonna grab, uh, with your pinky, you're gonna grab the seventh fret A, and you're gonna slide up uh, to the eighth fret B flat, all right? So that's five, flat six, seven, one. All right. Okay, so here, here we get to skip that flat third I was talking about. Um, if you were playing it straight up, just the augmented scale the whole time, you'd hit that flat third. But we're gonna skip it. All right. So just naturally, your uh, your third finger is gonna land right there. All right. So go ahead and. Use what's quick, what's natural. So it's gonna be the seventh fret D on the G string. Alright. Alright. So we're only on that string for that one note. So we're only on that string for one note. Alright. And then you're gonna grab uh, the sixth fret F on the B string. You're gonna slide up to the seventh fret F sharp. And then you're gonna hammer on to the 10th fret A on the B string, slide up to the 11th fret B flat on the B string. So it's gonna be like this. All right, so this, this one might be just a touch awkward because you're going from your pinky to your first finger right there. So there's gonna be a little bit of shift once you get to the high E string. But you gotta do that to be able to reach reach up here. Um, So there's gonna be a little bit of a shift once you get to that high E string, so let me show you where that happens. So shifting from your fourth finger to your first finger right there, fourth finger on the 11th fret of the B string, first finger on the 10th fret of the high E string. Uh, let me go back. So there's going to be a little bit of a shift uh, from your fourth finger to your first finger, from your pinky to your pointer, uh, right there, when you go to the high E string, uh, to be able to, to go up here. Alright, um, but you need to do it. So let's, uh, let's come up here, so you go up to the 10th fret D on the E string. And then with your fourth finger, you're gonna hammer on to the 13th fret F on the high E string, and then you're gonna slide up to the 14th fret uh, G flat or F sharp, however you want to think about it. All right, so uh, let me slow it down a little bit. So you're playing that over that B flat major seventh. Let's talk about the uh, the scale degrees here. So you've got five flat six seven one three. You're skipping that flat third of the augmented scale. Okay, five flat six 
seven, one, three. You're not gonna play, you're not gonna play that flat third there. You're not gonna play that flat third, you're gonna go straight to the three, five, flat six, five. All right, now up to speed. All right, I'm gonna slow it down again. Uh, a bit slower. All right, so those are some ideas for utilizing the augmented scale to play over major seventh chords in the context of jazz improvisation. I hope you have a great time with it. Um, you hear that augmented scale a good bit in, in modern jazz, and you hear it a lot in film scores, especially uh, fast descending lines like that in film scores. Um, so you can give that kind of feel for your improvisation, for, for where you are in the tune, and I just hope you have a great time with it. I'm R.M. Smith, and uh, that's the augmented scale for major seventh chords. Thanks for tuning in.